In this video, I'm going to be giving you a very simple little play that you can use to attack the dollar three two six defensive meta with the heavy pressure and uh, some of the man coverage behind it. So, uh, what we're going to do is show you. This is good for nickel and over. It's good for anything. I'm going to just show you how, how to beat the blitz with this. It's one of my favorite ways to beat the blitz because it's fairly simple. Uh, but at the same time, it's fairly effective. Now, the play we're going to be using is PA slot corner. I believe this is the, probably the best play in the game this year. I do think it's one of the better plays. Um, you want your best route runner to be right here with short and elite or something to help him get open against man. Ideally, he has short and elite. Um, and then he has route running, good route running as well. Okay. Um, so, PA slot corner. If you guys want to learn the rest of the trip side in stuff, make sure you join my Patreon. Uh, the link to do that's going to be in the description. So, this is the spinner blitz. Essentially, what they're going to do is just this right here, especially against trip side in because you block your running back so much in trips, they're probably going to send a six man heat. Okay. So, what we're going to do to counter this um, is we're going to slide protect our, our offensive line uh, to the right. And then we're going to go ahead and streak Julio Jones. And we're going to drag our tight end. And then we're going to motion receiver across. And we're going to basically block him right here. And as you can see here, this route is going to get into a really sweet spot against the defense. So, you know, fairly simple, right? And you only have three routes on the field. So the read is really, really simple. And the idea with this is is we want to make it as simple as possible for us to be able to read the defense and counter the defense right now the reason we streak coolio jones is if for whatever reason they're putting zone on that side then we'll be able to attack that and then if you have shortened a lead on your tight end this drag route has to basically be usered across the middle of the field so their user generally speaking especially because of the way the defense is crafted and the way the defense is going to have to work uh, for it to be effective their user is going to have to lurk underneath and he's going to come down and then basically guard the tight end that's kind of the the general the general path that he's going to have to take to stop this tight end right now another thing that you can do um if you if you're a little bit a little bit more worried that it might be a man play is you can post this outside of outside apprentice receiver and then you can do this drag and then what you'll see with this concept is you have a scissors action and you see it also pulls the blitzer out really well this post can beat man over the middle now another thing that is really popular this year um really really popular because of the power of the c route um from what we're seeing online Everybody wants to try to stop the C route because it's the best man beating play in the game or the best man beating around the game So to stop the C route, they're gonna put this outside guy on an outside third So you see here we're gonna get a look like this now They may do this or that but this is the basic beast that you're gonna be facing so when we put this post out here and when we actually have time to make a read the blitz is delayed because of the motion and then you you see the post is coming wide open over the middle of the field. So I'll show it to you again. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, effectively, this is what, I mean, effectively, this is kind of what you're going to get here. So I'm just going to base on impress just for simplicity of of alignment and stuff. Notice that left side guy, when they, when they do put him in outside third, he moves just slightly to the inside. So that's just something to note. Uh, but anyways, this post to the outside receiver, you got this blocker here to help you get this, and then you see that by the time you can hit this post to the, with a pass lead to the inside, their user has to get back on that. Um, and that's a real, uh, that's one of the real benefits of this play. Now, another little variation of this is let's say that you're, um, you know, for whatever reason, you know, you still want to kind of force feed Chris Godwin on this, which you can. Um, you know, again, what I would do is I would still have that post on the outside. And the reason why is because it'll help with man. But then again, zone, you see here that outside third doesn't really, it's not going to defend it. You're going to still have the proper space that you need uh, to throw this against zone. Okay. You can, so you can kind of mess around with who you motion. You have two different motions for two different situations. And then the real uh, benefit of this is if they do put that guy on the left side, in any kind of uh, like out, 
outside third to try to stop it or outside quarter to stop it it's really not gonna and this corner is your number one route and so they basically are gonna have to gamble or risk their man coverage they're, they're essentially saying we think our man coverage is gonna be able to stop this and the reality is just from playing this game as much as I have it might actually stop it once or twice but over the long haul even if even with a shade outside you know right there it was able to hang with it okay most of the time it's not gonna hang with it another concept you can have this is more for a situation where you're facing somebody who's running man coverage pretty much like that's what they're gonna do they're gonna run man coverage okay another thing you can do with this is simply motion block Mike Evans and what you'll see here is you have the scissors action to the right side and it makes this route get a little bit more clear space uh, to be able to work against man it's kind of like almost like a it's like a, a simplified version now the problem with this setup which I'll show you here in a second um, the problem with this setup is there's no there's no vertical pull route so if they do run a cover three on you um, or an outside third on that side it's not as good okay but what you'll see here is my guy whoops I, I kind of walked right into the sack my guy should be able to beat it but you hopefully are noticing and, and this will do this to every blitz in the game it doesn't matter if it's four three even it doesn't what it doesn't matter what blitz you're facing this defense right here or this not defense but this blocking scheme with the play action and motion blocking you can block anything with this you can literally block anything with this okay um and they're sending six so you have to you have to understand like they're sending six you're blocking seven um you know so obviously you're at a little bit of a disadvantage but you can block everything that they're going to do from this you know, so you're here, you get this nice blocking animation, and then you see you, you've either got your corner or you got your drag. And so what they're going to have to do to stop this is they're going to have to start doing things like dropping that linebacker into a hard flat. They're going to have to use her the deep middle of the field, um, you know, and they're still going to have, I think, a relatively hard time uh, stopping, you know, something like this. So as they start to do stuff like this, then we can start to bring this backside guy on a you know smart routed a smart routed in route you know so you see here something like this and your digs able to beat man okay so that's how you can kind of use this play to really break down a lot of the meta blitzes is just with simple routes like this you know you could do something like this it's one of my favorite setups this year um, you know and then again you see see how good play action is. Like play action is so good for dollar. It's really one of the better ways, um, one of the better ways that I'm aware of, you know, to be able to stop dollar. So, and this simple play right here, I mean, this is super simple, but that post, if they if they go if they go to the corner, the post is wide open. Okay, um, so you could even honestly do something like this where you streak Mike Evans as a runoff route and then you kind of motion snap this guy. Now you're going to get blitzed, but you know, if they're starting to drop more zones and stuff, this is a great little system or a great little route combination for you. But my favorite thing like I said is something like this and then on the back side we're going to drag this guy and then maybe have this guy on a on a dig. You know, and then if we're ever if we're ever worried um you know, and we need to only send three out. I think that the skinny post combined with the corner because it can handle any kind of shading that they're going to do. And then you do this little motion snap right here and you can kind of get into a sweet spot in, in the defense. So this is also good against the cover two variation of this blitz. So like if they were running cover two, your corner, everything would still be basically the same. The post route beats cover two. And then the corner route, of course, is going to get over the top of the zone drops, typically. And then you have your drag as a check down. So this, this play is real simple, but it's really good. And again, man coverage is not going to consistently bag this corner route. I haven't seen that. I, I've seen man coverage occasionally be able to bag this corner. But this corner route, generally speaking, 
even with an outside shade, as long as you have short and a lean on him, um, nine probably 75 to 80 percent of the time. That's how good main coverage is this year, by the way. But probably about 75 to 85 percent of the time, that corner route's going to get open for you. See, like last play, it bagged it. This play um, actually was able to hang with me twice. Um, and then, of course, like I said, you know, you can change stuff up. So, like, it, you know, if you could even do something like this, um, you know, the more they're giving you these outside shade looks. Now, I could go to, a, like, a little freestyle play like this where everybody's cutting inside. You know, so you just want to kind of, like, mix these things up a little bit depending on the shade of your opponent. But you'll see here, um, you know, and again, this is why it's really important, in my opinion, to have you know, receivers with short and a lead or some kind of route running ability this year. Um, you know, Godwin's actually not doing too great. And I think part of this is because of his route running, honestly. Um, yeah, but anyways, generally speaking, this corner route is really powerful. Um, I've faced a lot of, like, people, a lot, I get intimidated a little bit when I play inside shades, uh, but I will say that inside shade is, like, it's not 100% consistent. Again, if you have good route running, and you have short and elite on this player, you're going to be okay, okay? So don't overthink it too much. Um, don't overthink it too much, okay? And then, like I said, if they are consistently outside shading every play, then all you have to do is something like, like this. Now every route that we're going to throw is cutting inside against outside shaded man-to-man. -man. So you've got your post, you have your your drag you have your uh, whatever so you know you can kind of tailor this a little bit to how they're shading defensively and using three-man route concepts um i do think are, are really good this year actually so anyways that's how i like to kind of handle some of the meta from trips i hope this video was helpful if you want to learn more about trips i recommend you getting my my uh, trips tight end offensive ebook uh, the link is in the description below, and uh, we're going to be dropping some updates to it as well in the coming weeks for you guys. So thanks for watching, and if you want to become a Patreon member today, like I said, it's only $10 and gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to it. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.